Hi, welcome to our channel of IGNU Audiobooks. Indira Gandhi National Open University, School of Continuing Education, Certificate Programs, Certificate in Rural Development, CRD, MRD 101, Rural Development Indian Context, Block, 1, Rural Society and Economy, Unit, 2, Rural Demography. 2.0 Objectives After studying this unit, you should be able to Define demography and explain how it is related to development. Outline the growth and distribution of rural population in our country. Explain how sex and age compositions of the rural populations and their marital status have undergone changes. Outline and explain the patterns of internal migration. Explain the implications of the size of rural settlements for development, and Describe the state of rural literacy. 2.1 Introduction The basic objective of development is to improve the quality of life. We know that Building a modern nation depends on the development of people and the organization of human activity. It is the development of human resources that unlocks the door to modernization and is one of the necessary conditions for all kinds of growth, social, political, cultural or economic. This principle applies to India as well, particularly as she is poised to emerge as a world political and economical power. A country therefore plans for its people only, while planning for overall development, and for providing services to the people, information regarding the size, growth. Composition and quality of population plays an important role. Suppose schools or hospitals are to be opened in an area. To decide as to how many to set up, information regarding the total population of the area, their age and sex is needed. It is in this context that the study of demography assumes significant importance. This unit is aimed at familiarizing you with the population scenario of rural India. An Attempt has been made to give you an overview of the rural population in our country. So that you may have a reasonable idea about its size, composition and growth as well. As the related phenomena like migration and the size of rural settlements. 2.2 Meaning of Demography Now let us understand the term demography. Demography is the scientific and statistical study of population and in particular the size of various types of population their development and structure. There are various branches of demography like historical demography, social demography, economic demography, mathematical demography, medical demography and so on. Though it is not the practice among demographers to study the rural and the urban demography separately, it is useful to consider the demographic characteristics of the rural population separately, as it will help in providing a better understanding of the issues in rural development. This is important in a country like India, which is predominantly rural in character and will continue to remain so for several decades to come. 2.3 Demographic Database Let us now discuss the different sources of demographic data available in India and their usefulness in making developmental decisions. The various sources of data commonly utilized for demographic analysis are presented briefly as follows. 2.3.1 Census You know that census is generally a decennial affair. The first census in India was conducted in 1872 and since 1881 it has been undertaken regularly every 10 years. Census is a valuable and authentic source and can provide information at the lowest possible aggregation. In addition to the age-sex marital status of the various types of population, it provides information about their socio-economic characteristics such as literacy and education, religion of the head of the household, occupation and industrial classification of the labor force, the available household and community amenities, health facilities, post offices, banks, schools etc., and housing conditions. The compositions of the scheduled caste and the scheduled tribe households are also made available. This information with varying degrees of elaboration at the village level is thus available to decision maker. 2.3.2 Civil Registration System, CRS Civil registration is the continuous recording of vital events such as births, deaths, 
marriages etc. It is generally a compulsory recording done according to the legal requirements of the country as per the provisions made by official orders or rules. 2.3.3, Sample Registration System, SRS, Rural Demography. This system was initiated by the Registrar-General of India in 1969-70. Conducted on a regular basis at the national level, it is in essence a demographic survey based on a dual recording system. It provides estimates for both rural and urban areas at the state, major states as well as the national level. Both the estimates of birth and mortality are made available on an annual basis. But the problem is that SRS does not provide estimates at lower levels of aggregation and the sample units selected remain fixed for a long period of time. 2.3.4 Sample Surveys Surveys, in which information is collected on a sample basis, are particularly suitable for providing a variety of information with a fair degree of precision. Sample Surveys have become a major means for collecting information on a variety of demographic and health related indicators in India. Since 1990, there has been a noticeable change in the availability of large scale surveys in the field. Two rounds of the National Family Health Survey, NFHS, have been conducted on the lines similar to demographic health surveys, DHS. NFHS I was conducted in 1992 93 and NFHS II in 1998 99. They provide information on fertility, family planning practices, mortality, including infant and child mortality, utilization of maternal and child health care services, nutritional status of children, apart from the usual socio economic and demographic characteristics of a household. Information from NFHS has been widely used by planners, policy makers and academicians. Having learnt what demography is and what the different sources of demographic studies are, let us take up for discussion the size, growth and distribution of the rural population. 2.4 Size, GR9WTH and Distribution of Rural Population 2.4.1 National Picture According to the 2001 census, the total population of our country was 10,27,015,247. In 2001, of which 7,41,660,293 or 72% was rural, see Table 2.1. Though the percentage of the rural population shows a moderate decline over the years, the absolute number shows a large rural base even during the last census. Obviously, no development policy in India can succeed unless it centers around rural development. Table 2.1 Rural Population of India, 1901 to 2001. Look at the screen for table content. Let us now look at the growth rate of rural population. The growth of population is often used to connote the change in the number of people living in a particular area during a specific period of time. It is positive if there is increase in population and negative if there is a decrease in population between any two given points in time. Table 2.2 presents the growth of rural population in India over a period of 10 years. Table 2.2 Growth of Rural Population 1901 to 2001. Look at the screen for table content. If you look at the table carefully, you will find four distinct phases of population growth from 1901 to 2001. Phase 1 1901 to 1921, very slow growth. Phase 2 1931 to 1951, steady growth. Phase 3 1961 to 1981, rapid high growth. Phase 4 1991 to 2001, high growth with definite signs of slowing down. Population growth leads to overcrowding in living space and fragmentation of land. 2.4.2 Picture in the major states. Population growth needs to be viewed not only in the context of increase in numbers, but also within the broader perspective of its patterns in the different states of India. An analysis of the population growth patterns at the state level in India will help in understanding the regional contrasts in the growth pattern. Table 2.3 presents the 
state-wise growth of rural population. You may also look at the variations in the growth rate as depicted in Map I. The highest growth rate has been recorded by Nagaland, 63.37%, and the lowest by Madhya Pradesh, minus 12.90%. Of the 28 states in the country, as many as seven recorded growth rates higher than the national average, 19.08%. From the table you may also note that the so-called Furbi Maru, Bihar, Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, Uttar Pradesh, states belong to two different categories. Bihar and Madhya Pradesh show negative growth rates, indicating out-migration from their villages. Of course, Madhya Pradesh has also lost some of its rural population due to the formation of Chhattisga. Rajasthan and Uttar Pradesh, however, have recorded positive growth. Table 2.3 Statewise growth rate of rural population. Look at the screen for table content dash. 2.4.3 Distribution and density of rural population. Now, you have a clear idea about the growth of rural population in the various states and union territories as well as the country as a whole. Why do some states have more population than some others? Let us address this question in some detail. It is the unevenness of distribution, which is a significant feature of India's rural population. The factors that have guided the distribution pattern of population are the availability of cultivable land, depth and fertility of soil, depth of the underground water table, availability of water for irrigation, etc. Depending on these factors, the density of population varies from place to place. As per the 2001 census, India has an average density of 324 persons per square kilometer, but the rural population density is 254, which has increased from 214 in 1991. Table 2.4 shows the density of population in some of the major states of India and Map 2 brings out the variations in density. Though there are variations in density, the overall increase in the density of population is a matter of great concern as it puts immense pressure on our natural resources. See Figure 1. Table 2.4 Density of Rural Population. Look at the screen for table content. Check your progress. Minus 1. 1. What is the reason for the decline in population in Bihar and Madhya Pradesh in contrast with the situation in Rajasthan and Uttar Pradesh in 2001? 2. Why is the density of Kerala or West Bengal higher than Madhya Pradesh or Rajasthan? 2.5. Sex Composition of Rural Population This section provides details that should help you in understanding the various aspects of demographic dynamics, which influence the growth of population and its distribution. The most significant aspect of demographic dynamics is the sex ratio. It is an important social indicator used to measure the extent of the prevailing equity between males and females in a society at a given point in time. It is an outcome mainly of the interplay of sex differentials in mortality, sex selective migration, sex ratio at birth and at times the sex differential in population enumeration. According to the 200i census, the sex ratio in India stands at 933 females per 1000. Males, which is an improvement of 6 points over 927 recorded in the 1991 census. Though it has been improving since 1901, see Table 2.5, it continues to be the lowest in the world. Let us see why. Some of the important reasons for this declining trend specific to our country are 1. Neglect of the girl child resulting in their higher mortality at younger ages 2. High maternal mortality 3. Sex selective female abortions and 4. Female infanticide Table 2.5 Sex ratio in India 1901 to 2001 Look at the screen for table content Viewed in its regional perspective there is a phenomenal diversity in the sex ratio C. Table 2.6 In India the highest sex ratio, 1058, has been reported in Kerala, mainly because Kerala has been experiencing male selective out-migration to other parts of the country for employment since long, and the high literacy rates contribute to a low female mortality rate. The states that display more or less balanced sex ratio include Uttaranchal, Chhattisgarh, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Orissa, and Himachal. 
Pradesh. Haryaya auntie he other hand has reported the lowest sex ratio. It is so mainly because of the increasing trend of female fetal abortions guided by sex determination. Tests as well as a strong preference for the male child at the cost of the female child. The other states with fairly large paucity of females are Punjab, Sikkim and Uttar. Pradesh. Table 2.6 State-wise Sex Ratio 2001 Look at the screen for table content. Child Sex Ratio To understand the imbalances, it is necessary to have an idea of the child sex ratio. In India, in contrast to the overall sex ratio, the sex ratio of the child population 0 to 6 age group fell from 945 in 99 to 927 in 200. See Table 2.7 the sharpest decline in the sex ratio of the child population has been observed in Hirnachal, Pradesh, Punjab, Haryana, Gujarat, Uttaranchal, Maharashtra, and Chandigarh. Table 2.7 Health Sex Ratio 1991-2001 to Look at the screen for table content. The above table shows that in 1991, Punjab and Haryana registered a child sex ratio below 900 in their rural areas. At the 2001 census, Delhi and Chandigarh were the two new entrants in this category. The number of states recording a child sex ratio above 1000 has reduced from 2 to 1. Map 3 shows the distribution of the child sex ratio in the country at present. Check your progress. 2. 1. The decreasing sex ratio can be attributed to several factors. In what way? Do you think would the data on sex ratio at birth have helped us in judging the situation better? 2. Name three states which have low sex ratio. Please state the reasons. 3. What does the decline in the child sex ratio indicate? You are listening to this audiobook on Audio Learn Igno. 2.6 Age composition of rural population. The age composition is another basic characteristics of a population. It not only influences the rate of growth but also enables us to determine the proportion of labor force in the total population as well as the dependency ratio. Basically, the age composition of a population is determined by three factors, i.e. fertility, mortality and migration. These factors are interdependent and any change in one of these may influence the other two. Table 2.8 Age Composition Look at the screen for table content dash. Table 2.8 shows the age composition of the population of India. It shows a broad base and a tapering top indicating a higher population growth and also an increasing number of unemployed. Check your progress. 3. 1. What is the relation between the age at marriage and the birth rate in a country? 2.7. Marital status of rural population. In India, one of the most important factors responsible for the present high population growth is the persistence of markedly low level of age at marriage in many of the Indian states. In India, the Child Marriage Restraint Act 1978 has laid down 18 years as the minimum age at marriage for females. Yet, even today the age at marriage remains quite low in certain cases below 15 years. Variations in the age at marriage are shown in Table 2.9. Table 2.9 Percentage of women ever married before the age of 15-18 in rural and urban areas 1992-93 Look at the screen for table content. There is a clear trend of rising age at marriage in all the states. As expected the incidence of early marriages is much higher in the rural areas than in the urban areas. Only a few states like Kerala, Punjab, Himachal Pradesh and Jammu and Kashmir are more homogeneous in terms of lower incidences of marriage at younger ages. In these states, early marriages are waning away in both the rural and the urban areas. 2.8 Fertility and Mortality Patterns Vital rates include mainly fertility and mortality of a group of population. Table 2.10 Summarizes the decline in the vital rates in India from 1971 to 2001. Table 2.10 Vital Rates for India 1971 to 2001 Look at the screen for table content It shows that with an improvement in the general health conditions the death rate has also declined since the decline in the birth rate is more than that in the death rate the rate of growth of population has shown a rapid increase 
at the state level, however, the trend in the decline of vital rates shows a mixed pattern. See Table 2.11. In the Hindi-speaking heartland comprehending Rajasthan, Himachal Pradesh, Haryana, Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, and Bihar, where about 44% of the population of the country live, significant decline in the vital rates is still a far cry with the sole exception of Himachal Pradesh. Table 2.11 Birth Rate, Death Rate, and Infant Mortality Rate 2001 Look at the screen for table content. So, by now you know what factors influence the growth and the distribution of the population. They are low age at marriage, high birth rate and distorted sex ratio. All of them have a bearing on the rural population of India. Now, let us try to understand the migration patterns as they obtain in rural India. 2.9 Migration Patterns According to some economists, migration is considered to be a function of labor. Reallocation in response to market demands. Others explain it in terms of the push and pull caused by higher man-land ratio, underemployment at the place of origin, and the pull of higher wages, opportunities for education and training, etc. of the different streams of migration in India, rural 10 rural and rural to urban are important in the present context. Table 2.12 shows that according to 1991 census, 81.76% of the rural rural migrants were females who moved from one rural area to the other mostly due to marriages. Table 2.12 Stream and Volume of Migration 1991 Look at the screen for table content. Figure minus 2 Rural to urban migration, aggression leading to slums. On the other hand, only 18.24% of the migrants who moved from one rural area to the other were males. They may be laborers or some service castes. The number of male migrants who moved from rural to urban areas was more and they moved mostly in search of jobs. If you look at Table 2.13, the reasons for migration become very clear. It is not difficult to see that the lack of employment opportunities in rural areas is pushing more and more migrants to cities or towns resulting in the rise of slums and overall urban explosion. See Figure 2. Table 2.13 Reasons for Rural to Urban Migration 1991 Look at the screen for table content. 2.10 Size of Rural Settlements In the census, rural settlements have been divided into seven categories according to the population size of villages. These range from hamlets with less than 200 persons to large villages with more than 10,000 inhabitants. Table 2.14 Inhabited Villages Classified by Population Size 1991 Look at the screen for table content. According to the 1991 census, more than 55% of the rural population was concentrated in 30% of the villages with populations ranging from 1,000 to 4,999 inhabitants. See Table 2.14 the corresponding figures for 1981 were 53% and 25%. Respectively, the inference is that population concentration in the larger villages is increasing while the number and the population of small villages and hamlets are decreasing. Also notice that in 1991 more than 60% of the villages had less than 1,000 inhabitants. This is a very important observation because many rural development schemes do not reach such small villages where accessibility is a serious problem. Therefore, the consideration of the distribution of population is equally important in formulating plans and programs for rural development. Table 2.15 Average Size of Villages by Population Look at the screen for table content dash. Table 2.15 shows the average size of villages in some of the major states. In Kerala, the average size of the village is 17,281 as per the 2001 census while in Himachal. Pradesh it is 273 and in Orissa 608. In such a situation particular rural development. Programs launched on an all-India basis are bound to fail because of the problems of physical accessibility as well as cost-effectiveness, as generally the small villages 
tend to be in difficult and remote areas. Therefore, while planning for rural development, adequate attention needs to be given to these factors. Check your progress. 4. 1. Illustrate how the distribution of rural population in relation to the size of rural settlements is an important factor in the implementation of rural development programs. 2.11. Literacy rate. Literacy is an important driving force behind economic and social development and it is a powerful influence that tends to reduce the birth rate, thereby reducing the pressure of population. According to 200i census, the literacy rate in the population 7 years and above stands at 155,38% for the country as a whole. The corresponding figures for males and females are 75.85 and 54.16% respectively. Again, these figures are for the country as a whole. 2.11.1 State-wise variations in literacy rate, the rural scenario. As you can see from Table 2.16 and Map 4, the literacy rate varies considerably across the states. Kerala continues in the top position followed by Lakshadweep and Mizoram. Bihar on the other hand has recorded the lowest literacy rate. The rural Male literacy is more than 70% in 24 states slash UTs of India. It is only if we consider the male-female differential that our rural literacy rate comes to be as low as 59%. The only positive sign seen in the 2001 census is that the gender gap has decreased, though marginally, in comparison with that shown in the earlier two censuses. Map 4 Look at the screen for table content. Table 2.16 Rural Literacy in India Look at the screen for table content. In Rajasthan, Jumbish and Shikshakarmi projects and in Madhya Pradesh, the Education Guarantee Scheme, the District Primary Education Program and Programs like Mahila Samakhya have made some visible impact. In respect of female literacy, Bihar and Jharkhand are at the bottom. Even though the states with very low female literacy have made good progress in bridging the gender gap over the years. They require some more concerted efforts to reduce the gap further in the years to come. The enrollment and retention of girls in these states must increase and there should be more emphasis on adult literacy programs for females. Check your progress. 5. 1. How does literacy rate affect the growth of population? 2.12 Demography and Development The developmental problems related to the growth of population will not end with migration. An increasing population in the face of an already low supply of resources and land can only result in diminishing returns in the absence of other rewirements such as more capital, better trained labor and technological innovations. Let us understand how the growth of population retards the betterment of our material conditions. 1. It increases the pressure of numbers on a nation's land resources. 2. It tends to accelerate this pressure through time by accelerating the rate at which the store of exhaustible and non-replaceable natural resources are used up and the costs of their use are increased. 3. It diminishes the rate at which capital can be accumulated, and this diminution is greatly accentuated when much of the potential capital is utilized in maintaining the children who eventually die before they reach a productive age. 4. Given the rate of capital formation, the rate at which the labor force can be increased is reduced. Fortunately, while the demographic problems are formidable, the solutions are not so difficult as to be unmanageable or impossible. In India, the states of Goa, Kerala, Tamil Nadu and Andhra Pradesh have shown that education, particularly of the girl child, reduction in infant mortality, reasonable health care, Information about an adequate supply of family planning services and empowerment of women are some of the effective means which reduce the birth rate in a relatively short span of time. Figure minus 3. Look at the screen for table content dash. Pressure on services. Health. Education. Food supply. Availability of water. 2.13. Let US sum up. In this unit, we have learned the meaning of demography and about the different demographic data sources that are commonly utilized for understanding the various aspects of Indian demography. We have also studied that even though the proportion 
A rural population in our country has gradually declined over the years, from 82% in 1991 to 72% in 2001, there has been a considerable increase in the absolute number of people living in rural areas. This is indicated by the fact that the number of people living per square kilometer has increased from 214 in 1991 to 254. In 2001, the sex ratio in India is of great concern as it shows continuous decline both in the rural and the urban areas. The child sex ratio is particularly shocking as it reveals a strong preference for the male child throughout the country and more so in the northwestern states. Coming to the age composition of population, not much difference has occurred. As of now the base is quite broad with the productive age group gradually swelling out with a tapering top. The only silver lining is that the age at marriage of females is rising, though very slowly, all over the country. This will perhaps be able to arrest the birth rate and hence the growth of population. Unfortunately, however, this positive change is not uniform and particularly in the Hindi-speaking heartland the decline in vital rates is very slow which is adversely affecting the overall efforts for growth in this region. Analyzing the migration data We have seen that rural to urban migration mostly for employment purposes is significant. This highlights the lack of employment opportunities in the villages. We can assume that the size of the villages also guides this process, as in comparison with large villages such as those in Kerala development is slow in small villages and hamlets, which are inaccessible. Development is directly related to awareness and it comes only through literacy as we have seen it in Kerala. Though there are huge gaps between male and female literacy rates in both the rural and the urban areas. The gender gap has decreased as is indicated by the 200i census, which brings some hope for population stabilization and overall development. In the last section we have also seen how development is related to demography, which if not favorable can retard it. 2.14 key words. Crude birth rate, number of births in a year per 1,000 population. Crude death rate, number of deaths in a year per 1,000 population. Demography, science of population basically concerned with the statistical study of the size, distribution, characteristics, growth and structure of population over time. Dependency ratio, the number of children, aged under 14, and old people, aged 60 or 65 and over, in a population as a ratio of the number of adults, aged 15 59 64 Depopulate, the decline in the total population of an area. Infant mortality rate, number of deaths of infants, below one year, in a year per 1,000 live births. Migration, migration is a shift in the residence for some length of time. While it excludes short visits and tours, it includes different types of both voluntary and involuntary movements. Population density, persons per square kilometer at a particular place. Population growth rate, the rate at which a population is increasing, or decreasing, in a given year due to natural increase slash decrease and net migration, expressed as a percentage of the base population. Sex ratio, number of females per 1000 males in the population. Thank you, we will see you in the next video.